Hello and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today I'm going to be going through the Apex Replay Debugger within VS, uh, VS Code. And the benefit of it is that you can find and fix bugs within your Apex code easier and quicker than having to go into Salesforce, set up, develop a console and troll through the, uh, the stack trace there. It's going to bring it all into your VS code instead, meaning that you don't have to leave this application. So I've got a simple Apex class here and I have written a really simple um, Apex class test. Um, and it's going to, I'm going to initially make it fail. I'm going to put a bug in here and deliberately make the test fail because we want to see how this replay debugger is going to identify for me where something is going wrong. So we've deployed it. We're going to just confirm that there's an intentional um, error here. And in a second, we should see in the output window here down at this uh, bottom panel that it has failed the test. Fantastic. So it's failed the test and it has, it's failed on um, the ticker symbol. It should be expecting SFDC here, but instead it's getting CRM, uh, which is fine. So what I want to do now is I want to insert a breakpoint. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to add um, a, check, a check flag here, a checkpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in SFDC. I'm going to highlight where I want to add it first, and then I'm going to Command Shift P, SFDC, and toggle checkpoint. As you can see now, what that has done is placed a red dot here showing you that it's a checkpoint um, on that line. Now what I want to do is I want to tell Salesforce that that's where I'm going to be adding that checkpoint. So I need to do SFDC update, uh, update checkpoints in org. And there we go. That has run it actually I had already run it earlier, so it doesn't have anything to update, but you will see it further up here, um, updating the, the, the um, checkpoint here. Okay, so then the next command, what I want to do is I want to replay, I want to turn on the debug log for this replay debugger. So what I need to do, ah, there we go. It's run the uh, updating checkpoints, it's doing it here. We're on four of six, so I was, I've been a bit quick there. There we go, we're nearly there. Nearly there on updating the checkpoints within the org. And then what I'm going to do is turn on the Apex debug log for this replay debugger. So I want to grab this log and I need to tell Salesforce that I want to grab the log back. Um, and by doing so, we have this simple command. I'm going to have it prepped ready for when that's finished. So it's SFDX, and I want to turn on Apex debug log for replay debugger. We'll go and give that a shout. And as you can see, it's running down at the bottom here, which is fantastic. And that's great. So we've toggled the checkpoint, we've updated the checkpoint, and then we've now turned on the debugger, the debug log for the debugger. What I need to do now is I need to head back over to my test. And what I'm going to do is run test. Again, this should still initially fail because we haven't corrected anything within the test class. But what I'm doing now is identifying to Salesforce within my org that I want the full log back and I've set a chase flag at that certain point within this, this class here. Just wait for it to fail again. And what I'm going to do now is prep the next command. So I want to, I want to get 
the Apex debug logs. So there you go, it's failed. I'm going to run the Apex uh, get debug logs. Fantastic. So there you go, a bunch of tests have been ran and you can see um, I can grab whichever one I want, but I'm going to grab the most recent one. And my username in the org at the moment is Mars Rover because I've been doing the other module, but it will say your username and it'll have the uh, the name of the, the, the log here. So we're going to grab that one. And what you'll now see open up on the right hand side, uh, left hand side here is the debug logs. So now you've got the full debug log, which you would have had in Salesforce without having to go through the developer console. And you can start having a look at it here and seeing what's going on. That probably looks very familiar. However, what we do have now, which is even better, is if you right click on this file and launch the Apex Replay debugger with the current file, we now get this window. And what this window allows us to do is it allows us to step through this log and and run the uh, run the uh, replay debugger to allow us to see what was going on within this org. As you can see down here, we've got the the breakpoint, and we can now run through this log and it will tell us exactly what's going on at each point, which is really useful. We can see that it starts off as the ticker symbol CRM, but we can now look at the new account and we can see that it changes to SFDC. And we've now identified where things are going wrong. Really handy is that you can actually now grab these logs and you can also see your test results here, which is really useful if you need to go back and have a look at them rather than going into Salesforce. I hope that this tutorial was useful and you gained something from it. This feature now allows you to do everything within VS Code rather than having to jump backwards and forwards within Salesforce. So hopefully this will streamline a few processes. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much.